and this is a 1998 game. Why do you say that? Just because of the ground textures? textures. Ground textures, yeah. So welcome back to CNA Gameplay. We're going to do the tornado level thing now. But we, we already did that. No, we didn't. Yeah, we did. N wrong tornado. Oh. This is the plane, the tornado. As you might recall from the older Sonics. Oh, I didn't know the name of the plane. Oh yeah, it's called the tornado. <laughs> Sonics just like, what the fuck is he doing? Fucking tails, doing the dumb things, we're making great stupid <laughs> plan again. I don't know, I'm gonna shrug. I actually thought this was kind of cool that he had a, a runway built in to the fucking ground. And all those palm trees just kind of fold over. Alright, we're gonna watch them. Oh, God. Where? Oh, just stand precariously on the back. I can't sing. <laughs> I know the words to the song, but I can't sing. <laughs> sing a hell of a lot better than I can. So this is one of two tornado levels. Is this Space Harrier? No. Or no, not Space Harrier. Afterburner? Kinda, yeah. Yeah. It's actually very much like Afterburner. <laughs> yeah, it totally is Afterburner. We do this once here, and then we do it again later on, where we crash land onto the egg carrier. There's a uh, Afterburner level in uh, Bayonetta. Really? Yeah. That game's just fucking weird all over. That game's insane. I like it though. One thing I find funny about this is that the ship that we're chasing is called the Egg Carrier. That's that's Robotnik's official name for it. Yeah. And again, it's kind of one of those lost in translation things. But in the American version of the game and this series in general, Eggman is an insult. That's not his actual name. His name is Robotnik, as he said earlier. Yet he calls his own things the Egg Carrier. Death Egg. Death Egg. Yeah. He puts name. He, he apparently hates the nickname, and yet he does he all names, this crap. Yeah, he names all his shit eggs something. Yeah. They later. That's just like something that's only for the American version, because you know his official name in Japan is Eggman. So it's just kind of like one of those weird things. Yeah. They eventually fixed it because they only call him Eggman now in the newer games. Which fuck that. If yeah, you're fuck me. that. It's ro it's robotic. It's always going to be a robot lick. <laughs> robot lick for life. That's what I'm going to call this episode. Robot lick for life. <laughs> oh. So look we forward to that title. on YouTube. Yeah. Sonic the Hedgehog, episode six or whatever. Uh, I lost I lost count when we're doing this because the count never matches up with the actual edited video. <laughs> yeah. So like we got like episode eight of Zelda. We're we're calling it like episode five <laughs> or something. Or we have another one that's like episode 10, but we call it episode 8, because we're totally wrong. Perfect. This is also so weird what the camera's doing. And then it does this, and we get behind the ship, and then it does that again. What did we do? We beat the level! <laughs> but what did we do, though? Absolutely nothing. See, he's gonna shoot us down. Moonstone cannon, fire! Special beam cannon! Oh, jeez. Whoa! <laughs> 79. Alright. It's not too bad. I'd say you did Another better level. than that level deserved. Yeah, that's a very boring level. I bet speedrunners absolutely hate it. <laughs> they hate Because it goes at a fixed speed. Yeah, they speedrunners absolutely hate auto scrolling. Great sound effect. That second one actually used to fuck with my speakers on the Dreamcast. Oh, really? But it caused the like. <sighs> yeah, it caused stuff. a weird like vibration going on. Yeah. It probably does for this one too, but I have a new sound system and everything, so I don't You're know. Not who I'm looking for? But on my old mono TV, 
with the built-in VCR, the 13-inch one. Works. It used to no, freak it out. He's okay. I wonder if he's okay. <gasps> yeah. Tails, my my lover. You know that Sonic's just pegging the shit out of Tails when we get back to the <laughs> whatever the hell. God damn it. <laughs> Not whole whatever. Camera, I hate you. I hate you. That was that was great right there. Why don't you try going to the casino? Um, I gotta go back. Can you go in that whatever that was? No, it just kind of pushes you out if you try to ride a car into there. What was yeah. the? Did you ever watch any of those Sonic cartoons from the early nineties? It's 90s? Amy. She's annoying, but I do like her, how she looks and everything. She's cute. Yeah, anyway. Amy's fine. Listen, and there's a song again. And to go further into the Sonic is gay fan theory, he just he's repulsed by Amy. Entirely. Mm. Yeah, she's not even, like, kidnapped constantly. Like, he doesn't have to fucking walk all over the goddamn Mushroom Kingdom every two days looking for her. Oh, I gotta go to Casino Park. Or not Casino Park, um... She's just, like, right there and already wants his dick. So, like, <laughs> what the fuck is the problem? Why are you hanging out with Tails? I know, right? At one time in some video for, um... I think it was the rolling around at the speed of sound some guy uploaded to YouTube. Uh-huh. I, um... See, now they're fucking walking together. What the hell? <laughs> Man, look. On the no, I, no. I commented something a like, um... Mmm, cheesy hardware. Mmm, <laughs> cheesy line delivery. Oh, now what? Such huh? a Japanese cultural thing. Look here. Uncle Park. Park. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What does that say? What? The thing says welcome, but it's smeared across the texture. Whoa, 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 wait! <laughs> why, 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 wait? That girl is such a pain. Yeah. That's why he sticks with guys. And girls are such bitches. Guys are way easier to deal with. Twinkle Park's got great music. I believe it's an homage to, um,. Some level in the older games. Okay. So if you know. So far, it doesn't look like anything. Shit. <laughs> Except your death. His first, uh, le let's say, legitimate death in this so far. Yeah. And even then, it was kind of fucked because I was trapped. It was a little bit fucked, yeah, but. What was that thing? What? The thing that's falling around. Oh, well, it's just an animal. It. They're, they're part of the chow garden thing. You feed it oh, to okay. chows. Oh no. Yeah, I get to do bumper cars, mandatory. Great. <laughs> fucking you know, this the the running around part of this game is so fucking sketchy. Why did they even try to do anything else? Because games in the late nineties need more content than just running left to right. They could have been trendsetters. By what? Doing what they've done for the last 15 years before this? No, I mean, <laughs> they could have <laughs> spent all this time that they built, that they were using to build other stupid broken systems and just made the one thing that they do okay better. <laughs> this game just needed more development time in general. <laughs> but they yeah. rushed it so much. But the time that they spent making bumper cars and a flying afterburner thing and all that stuff, if they just made Sonic better, if they just spent that time on Sonic instead of the other stuff... Well, in a way, they kind of did. Because, like you know, you have to play as every character to beat the game. Yeah. Sonic has the most levels of any character. Yeah. Mercifully, I'm gonna guess. Not... well... I don't know, Knuckles is a pretty fun. Okay. Um, this song, it's from an older Sonic game. I don't know which one. Like, comment, subscribe if you remember this or know what, what game it's from. But it's totally an homage to, like, Sonic CD or something. Uh, it's not ringing bells for me right now. 
I was telling a story about something, what was it? Sounds really familiar though. What? I was telling a story like two minutes ago, what was I talking about? Uh, I don't know. We were talking about Amy and Sonic being gay. Alright, Sonic being gay. Um, oh yeah, yeah, you were gonna talk about some video. Yeah, I commented on the video something like, um... Or like I was responding to somebody else's comment. Because he said something like, there's no way Sonic and Amy forever, and I was just like, dude, he hangs out with Tails all the time. He never shows any interest in Amy. I know. And... He comes, he, he's marketing to a demographic that's still like, yeah, girl kitties. What? Yeah, it totally is. It's marketing to kids. It's like boys. Okay. I think it's more just like girls are icky because they have cooties type of thing. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I was stuck on the bomb there. I couldn't move. Yeah, I saw. No, that's what I'm totally saying. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's totally be like little kids, you know, like girls have cuties, ha ha ha. But really, but he's too old of a character, like just in his portrayal. I never went through that phase. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> um. So yeah, I commented something like. Dude, after the game, he didn't get with Amy. They just kind of, him and Tails, spent the rest of the their yeah. time together. Every just, ending is the Otacon ending. Yes, every ending is the Otacon ending. Yeah, Amy's dead, and you ride off with Tails in an airplane. Yes. <laughs> so I said something like, dude, don't be hating on the gays, because Sonic and... Maybe that's what he said. He was saying some, like, anti-gay statement. Yeah, yeah. And I was it just was like, like, don't hate on the gays. Sonic I mean, can't Sonic be and gay. Sonic and Tails, they, they spend their time together. They enjoy spending their time together. <laughs> Maybe we just never see the part where Sonic is tells Amy that, you know, he's flattered but not interested. Yeah. But and I, she just I, I, I went into pretty good detail and I made it poetic. And <laughs> the guy just responded like, he's, Sonic's not gay in all caps. He was, Sonic's not gay. There's no way. How dare you? <laughs> what is that thing? I have no idea, but... Oh, it's one of those. It's one of those. Yes. Yes. That wobbly bitch back there. <laughs> totally bombing you in the little <laughs> cutscene. I know, right? Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Level C completed. See, I, I went into pretty good detail there, and I got a lot of likes for it. <laughs> <laughs> to it's like they're, they're spending their time, to, their life together. Oh, shoot! I've lost Amy. Let Sonic and Tails be. Butt after her. That's okay. I'd better catch her before it does. The inflection on these sentences is baffling. Oh yeah, they're just really bad acting here, like ridiculously bad acting. Ooh, we get to do like the funnest level now. Reminds me of, um... Fuck. A little bit of Metal Gear Solid 2. Like, Metal Gear Solid 2 had pretty good acting, but... The guy who was we playing... We managed to avoid drowning. Yes! Exactly the line <laughs> I was thinking of. Exactly the line I was thinking of. <laughs> that line shouldn't even be in the game. <laughs> we managed to avoid drowning. Good job! So next time on Sonic Adventure CNA Gameplay, we're going to play probably the one of the three funnest levels in this game. So, see you then. You just delighted me so much right now. <laughs> That's exactly the line I was thinking of. We've managed to avoid drowning! <laughs> when I'm fairly certain that line was supposed to be sarcastic or something. Well, we've managed to avoid drowning. It comes off that way, but it's not intentional. It can't be intentional. I, yeah, I'm, I think it was written to be a sarcastic and they read the line wrong. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Because <laughs> the guy who plays Raiden just has that problem through the whole game. Like, hey, hey Campbell, we managed to avoid drowning. Haha. <laughs> yeah. But he says it triumphantly. <laughs> it's so funny. He says it seriously. It's just like, we managed to avoid drowning. Good yeah. job. Oh, uh, so funny that you mentioned that line. It's so fast. <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking of.